the most prevalently thing tokenized besides private credit, and that's going to be U.S. Treasuries. You have a huge, huge mover here, which is Ondo. Securitize and BlackRock and a lot of other parties are looking at this. You've got Franklin Templeton, which is also somebody that's tokenized treasuries, but they've done on the Hyperledger instead of the EVM or Ethereum-based networks. So currently, total market cap for U.S. treasuries, it's going to be $25 trillion. It's a lot of debt that we have issued. Total trading volume per day on that Tier 1 asset is $600 billion. That's a lot. Right. So you can imagine whichever network garners the majority of that trading volume is going to have pretty su significant price appreciation. We've got Ondo and then EVM based networks. And you also have Hyperledger, which is XLM. So those are kind of the leaders right now. So the total current tokenized value for treasuries, you guessed it, is tiny in comparison to the 600 billion that exists. It's 0.016%. Only 4.05 billion U.S. Treasuries or the value of U.S. Treasuries have been tokenized up to this point. Very, very small amount, but it is liquid, right? And so this, and you would say, well, well Treasuries are already super liquid. Why would you start tokenizing that asset? Because it's a tier one asset. It's no risk. And it allows for a safe haven and a way to earn yield or return on the money that you have in digital assets. It's what's seeing the most adoption, the fastest pace adoption, aside from the private credit market. 